J.R. Smith might not be Picasso, but he loves artwork on his body. <laughs> Hi, Ma. What's hey, going Ma. on? What's There. Welcome to The Fumble here in Los Angeles. I'm Crystal Rich. We all have brands that we love. Back in the day for me, it was Baby Fat to Rockwear to FUBU. Who remembers that? What's that? Now I'm just here for cool shirts with Snoop Dogg on them. Smoke weed every day. J.R. Smith also has his favorite brands and his favorite brand seems to be Supreme. Supreme is a New York streetwear company that started out as a skateboarding shop. He loves Supreme so much that he got a huge tattoo of their logo tatted on his right calf. Now it might sound crazy unless your name is J.R. Smith. Decide who that guy is. Oh, we just give each other a lot of confidence going into game. Why? Because his whole body is covered in ink. He always has his shirt off. Something that he loves to do is get tattoos to each their own, right? But not everyone is so happy about it. The NBA, get this, will find him every single game that he does not cover up his tat. Yeah, really? A league rep told NBC Sports the NBA rules prohibit players from displaying any commercial logos or corporate insignia on their body or in their hair. What? Um, that's ridiculous. This is his body. It's not clothing, it's not a t-shirt, it's not pants. They don't own his skin. Where does this stop? Yeah, I get it, it's a business, you need to make your money. You might see it as an ad, but do I agree? Hell no. Are they gonna tell him he can't go to the tattoo parlors now and get the tattoo that he wants? This is ridiculous. J.R. Smith responded twice once on Instagram saying, so I was informed today that I would be fined every game I don't cover up my supreme tattoo on my leg during these games. These people in the league office are something else. He just, these people them. What do you mean, you people? If I came in the studio, like every time I come here, these people have my desk crooked knowing that I'm really saying Studio Dave but he's great, shout out. He also responded on Twitter saying, I swear I'm the only person they do sugar honey iced tea like this too. So you mean to tell me I have to cover up my tattoo for what? You don't make people cover up Jordan logos, Nike checks, or anything. Is the league picking on J.R. Smith? And can they legally actually tell someone to cover their legs or else? I mean, if someone told that to a woman, cover up your leg or else, that would be a huge problem. Maybe the league is still mad at him for the game one NBA Finals blunder. Okay, Crystal, I know that was a low blow, but I know you know what I'm talking about. And I know you saw this picture a million times because there are 10 million memes on Instagram. J.R. Smith finally clapped back at someone who tweeted at him. The troll who tweeted him actually has a picture of a troll as their Twitter default picture. He or she said, you cost the Cavs a ring, never helped win one, even though he did get a ring with the Cavs in 2016. JR Smith responded saying, how many rings you got? Tell him JR, because at least you have one ring. Will JR ever get another ring without LeBron? Honestly, he's a jerk, because he calls me at 6.30 in the morning and asks me what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm asleep. Should the NBA make him cover up his tats? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble, I'm Crystal Rich.